So, hello, internet, mostly YouTube. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am local with the nub. I generally triple box a fair bit of abyssals. Uh, I make quite a bit of this doing it in around a billion is per hour profit. Uh, give or take, depending on loot drops, of course. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. There is this randomness in Eve that does occur. Um, and that is after the cost of filaments. Not necessarily boosters and stuff, but filaments. Uh, if you want to be specific, anywhere between 800 and 1100 is per hour. Again, depending on drops. Uh, and I'm going to run some of it here for you, and you can take a look and see what I'm doing if you want to. My regular Eve people will show up on my Twitch stream, which this is to me. Uh, but I, I share this afterwards, so I like to try preface it off with uh, some YouTube stuff. Uh, of course, in the Abyss, anything you can do to make it easier. So, for example, if you have anything that can be like event boosters, for example, right now the ones that are up are state for the stuff that I do. I'm using state damage. You can also use. Uh, no, research that. Not research, just search again. Uh, you can also use the state defense boosters, which gives you bonuses to all shield resistances. You have a few options to choose from. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to pop in my Discord. That should be listed in my link here. Uh, my fit may or may not be. I'm a bit of a slacker. I'm a filthy casual as far as streaming goes. I'm trying to get better at it. It's not really working though, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, other than that, enjoy my stream. And I have to go and just let everyone else know I'm streaming now. Again, filthy casual. Let's copy that. Let's go over to here. Announcements at everyone. Do, 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 do over here. Copy that. Paste that. And off we go. Okay, so let's go. Well, I just want to check something. Sorry. Okay, I'm not actually sorry. I'm just Canadian. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. So let's go. This character. And over back to here so I can see if anyone chats. And we're going to go this, this, and this. You did not grab extra cat boosters, and I want you to. You have more, so that's alright. Six more will make a difference. Stack those. That, that, and that. So, I highly recommend you pop the blue and see if it's the one you want, and then do the rest of them. Uh, I'm a filthy casual, so I do not. You should definitely do that, though. And let's see if we have any negative effects before we go in. This guy's fine. So, you're looking for that for of these that shield boost bonus of 20%. That will make the difference for you. All of my guys are actually good, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to grab that and a... Do you help? Uh, chart missile damage. Yes, you do. So let's grab that one. Once in a while, I forget which ones are which. Yellow, good. Green, I think, is the one I don't care for. Uh, green has missile explosion velocity. Shield hit points. Cap recharge rate is the biggest, most useful thing on the green one. So not a lot on the green. Uh, the blue has flight time, shield resistances. If I had something more useful. Scan, res, cap. Wait, did you use green? G4. No. I swear this had like one of these anyway. Had speed. Did I miss that? Tracking speed bonus, shield capacity bonus. What am I missing? Yellow and red. Anyway, whatever. Let's take that. And activate that for fleet. And off we go. So if you can use things that make your life easier, please do so. Things like uh, extra shield resist, extra damage, uh, inertia modifier, targeting range, 
Uh, what else is on here? All these things make a difference. Uh, devoted, we are not too concerned about a devoted room. This is red clouds, which while red is not my favorite cloud, no clouds is my favorite cloud. Uh, red will certainly do. So for this, you can do lookouts and heralds first. And they are the ones that interfere with you the most. So lookouts make it so you can't target things. And the heralds make it so you can't shoot your missiles quite as far. So if you look here, thir wait, 37? Yeah, 47 is my normal, right? So there is that. However, now that a couple are dead, I should be able to kill these heralds. These guys are going to keep working on the lookouts and the heralds. You're shooting, unless you shoot that one and that one. There we go. Hey, Machinista, how's it going today? Verani. Okay, let's target some heralds and hunters with you. Smiths are newts, so we kind of don't like them too much either. Well, I don't mind torchbearers too much, but we need to kill everything, so let's work on those guys as well. Always try, try to be aware of where that wall is. If you can help it, don't fly directly at it unless that's your goal. It should not be your goal. Uh, one, two, three on those guys. This room is generally a fairly quick room overall. Hunter, Torchbearer, other Hunter. And then we can finish off the Knights, and then we can grab the cash and get out. So we're going to let this go a moment longer, and then we're going to go straight up. Oh no, not Twitch Mobile. To be fair, I've never really used it a lot. Usually it's like just if I'm bored sitting somewhere, I guess. It's probably, I mean, this Twitch Mobile, that's exactly what it's for. Grabbing the phone? Can you grab the phone? I can grab the phone, but I can't really talk to my sister. Right okay. Now. Well, just if you can move it to the room or something. Yeah. Uh, 62 million there. Let's orbit this at a thousand, just so we kind of keep moving. This guy's going to be dead. This guy will be the last one. We can tank one. It's not an issue. That's a good point too. If you just give up on chat, then you don't have to worry too much for Twitch Mobile. It's like, sorry, I can't care what you're talking about. So I got Google Play Pass. It's like 30 for a year, so less than three bucks a month. But same thing, it's like, it's, it's a little hard to play on that. It's not like I carry a controller around, I might have to. Better for tablet, I'd imagine. Actually, I got a good deal on uh, our tablets for Telus. Uh, at one point in time, they had a add a tablet onto your family plan for no dollars extra. And I'm like, that's sweet. Okay, let's do that. So we did that, and now the only problem is, is I can't change my plan because anytime I try to change my plan, they're like, oh, you can't do that anymore. We charge ten dollars a tablet. It's like, well, then I guess your plan is not worth it. What's Shoot. that? Is that for the Google Play Pass? No, tell us. Uh, we can't change our plan because of the tablets. Oh yeah. All right. Let's open that. One hundred and sixteen million. Orbit that.
and shoot that guy. There we go. Okay, so there's a lot of speed clouds in here. I'd rather these guys not hit speed clouds, but it's not like I can really control that. Uh, short range, medium range, but neither of those are deviants, so we don't care. Even the, if one was a medium range deviant, we still wouldn't care. We're going to go orbit this guy at 5,000, though. Actually, specifically this one, number two. And that's to try to hopefully prevent them. There's a speed cloud. From. You know what? I'm kind of thinking. I was right where I was. Curses. Well, we'll see. Now that I saw approximately where that wall was. See, right there. Right there. So ideally, we don't want them to, to come over to where that wall is. So I'm hoping that they'll fly that way. It's okay if I hit the wall. That shouldn't really affect my DPS too much. No, I can even do this. So that's the thing, my normal max speed is much slower, but that speed cloud puts it up to 2,000 from 500. So speed clouds can be problematic. Or my 1,300 goes up to 52, it's, it's quite an increase. We have 47 kilometers range, so we're fine here. We'll just keep speeding around on this a little bit. So what are you guys all up to tonight? Anything interesting? Did we find out when those new ships are coming? Are they in here yet? I wouldn't know what they're called. Want to know what the new destroyer is? Oh man, tell me about it. I definitely stayed up too late playing a game last night. So, I don't know if anyone... I'm a big old geek if uh, anyone wasn't aware of it. So, I know, right? Shocking. Uh, so I was playing a game called Nova Lands this weekend. Uh, it's a fairly recently released game. It's If you've played uh, Forager, which is on... Uh, it's a Humble Bundle game, actually then it's kind of like that, but Forger I thought was a better game myself. Uh, Hawks with... So, I mean, reliably, probably not. Angels get a lot harder when you start hitting Tier 4, Tier 5. Um, and, like, Angels are, are going to be the issue. If you're doing Duo, use Jackdaws. Jackdaws are fantastic. Do, 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 do. Just let me make sure my other guy's shooting, and I should be able to look this up for you. Mm, okay, so keep in mind, my fit is not the only way to run this, so feel free to switch this up however the hell you need to. Tier 3. Solo. Tier uh, Duo is right up to Tier 6. I've run Tier 6 Duo. Actually, Tier 6 Jackdaw is how I figured out... I could run tier 6 Hawk successfully. Uh, if it wasn't for Jackdaw, I would not have figured it out. I 
Uh, what's your fit like compared to mine there? Tempting, but I don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, how are your skills and how are your skills? Like how I asked that? I use very basic implants. Uh, I use 903, 1003, and I think that's generally about it. I think my other one's a CPU that is a little outdated in most of my fits and doesn't actually need to be there. Well, single snare caster in this one. What is it? Uh, obviously, angel rooms, right? So, are, do you overheat and go defensive? Or so for those, I usually overheat. Uh, so overheat shield hardeners, uh, overheat shield boosters. They jackdaws benefit from that shit, right? So it's it's good to do it. Oh, you uh, standard if you're running tier fives. Tier fours though, you should still be able to use blue. Uh, what are you killing first in tier fours? It should be any cinnables that you see. Non-elites followed by elites. Okay. And you focus fire them down. You don't just shoot willy-nilly, right? Like, you have to be going one, two, three on those things. And not waiting for the missiles to hit. You have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Four cinnables. Like... Don't be like chaos and like not have the type showing and not be able to see what's going to frickin' web or scram or newt ya. Gonna have to gank him soon. See that's the thing, chaos is like, oh, I'll stop running them. It's like chaos, I know you. You're not going to stop running them because I say you're going to gank you. You're going to stop running them when I actually gank you. Stop trying to fool me. You're not going to. Scrub. For some reason, but it doesn't matter. That was going to die. Patine, how are you? So that one was about 13 or so minutes. I'm not actually keeping track on Abyss Tracker these days. It's been a little annoying lately. So I'm going to take a break from it, but I will get back to it at some point. Two, three, four, five, but still about 308 in 13 or so minutes. Grab some more kind of darks. Did not use any huge amount of uh, boosters. Poutine, I think I said hi, but I'm going to say hi again just because. Hello, good fella. The internet's a thing. I don't know who any of these people. <laughs> Alright, let's activate those going. Do 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 do. do. Have we got here Drex? So the important thing about this Drex room. Ooh, okay. I don't like the clouds, but what are you? And I like the short range deviant, and I don't. God damn it! I just don't like this room. Clouds, let's go this way. Oh, all right. So, I really want to kill the Dracovics first, 
But I'm going to kill at least two of these guys first, and then figure it out from there. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. Do you dislike the starvings? Does help if you shoot. Okay, and three, and three, and three, and pop one of those. That's why I got them. Okay. Should be able to start shooting these directs in. Fortunate part is I kind of have to like just fly back across here. They're still down armor, so I do like that. And I'm going to shoot three next, just because three has less armor than two. Let's go one and two on these guys and see where they're at. Uh, I would be concerned if there were tangling kikis. Uh, so, black air, they cost about 105 million for me to go in and run three rooms, and I generally pull out about 350 million. And I can run about four in an hour. So 1.4 billion in net loot per hour, but at a cost of about 420 million for the filaments. 20 minute time limit. I generally finish them in about 13 to 15 minutes for the most part. This can be a little bit longer of a room here, but uh, unless I get two more like it, it's usually not an issue. Uh, so I have two, I have a couple different builds. Generally, I like to look at the builds as being a tier five build, and you adjust for tier six. So tier six, there's a few different ways to adjust depending on what the problems you're having are. Uh, if your problem's DPS, uh, then you can add faction BCUs if you need to, you can roll BCUs, you, you have a few different options to get to where you need to. If you need more tank, you can roll shield boosters, I don't, mine's just a normal shield booster. Um, you can throw on, uh, you can use different uh, pills, I obviously use standard blue for the 20% shield boost. Uh, things like that. You can use stronger ones, you can use weaker ones, you can pre-roll them, you can do all kinds of things. Event boosters make a huge difference. They only show up every once in a while, but for example, right now, uh, we've got all the state ones. We have all the ones from all the different factions. These are still good for about another month? A little over a month. So they make a difference. Everything makes a difference. Uh, if you are wondering, like, what difference does 4% make? Well, when you end up only having 10% structure left, I promise you that 4% is probably why you're still alive. So if you can find budget boosters and you survive once at that 10% structure, I've done it, it's worth it, I promise you. Okay, so that's down there. Still don't like that cloud. Let's go over towards that medium suppressor. We'll deal with those guys after. Uh, so my tier five build, which can make 750 million is per hour net, about four or five runs at 150 million is per run, uh, 600 to 700. Uh, can is worth about uh, 750 million so the uh, it takes about an hour hour and 15 minutes to pay off the entire set uh, and it runs very well uh, this just has faction BCUs on as opposed to regular BCUs and that makes a difference in running rooms like this uh, and that's kind of the edge you need sometimes so Okay, Kiki, Kiki, and Kiki. We are almost out of missiles on these guys, which is perfectly, well, not out of missiles, but like out of this set of missiles. You're reloading, you're reloading, you're a slacker, you can kill him. Then you can pop that and then you can reload. Please don't be a speed cloud, please don't be a speed cloud, please don't be a speed cloud. Shoot that guy, shoot that guy. 
Target that one, target that one. You're reloading. Now let me, so this is going to be incorrect, right? Yeah, it's definitely not 219 million. What? Okay, I have the wrong BCU on this guy. Good job, me. Okay, you guys don't. Uh, 105 million there. Uh, we're just going to sit here for a moment. See that guy? He's definitely going too fast to accurately hit. We're going to back off a smidgen. He's hitting that cloud. Okay, approach the gate, because that guy will be dead by the time we finish that. There we go. And how are we doing on time? No, I am running three hawks. One, two, three. I'm pretty sure the stream name says that as well. Activate gate. I get triple the loot over what uh, Gila's do. So we're a smidgen over time, but by like a smidgen I'm talking, oh, never mind, nobody cares. We were 10 seconds over time, and now we're not going to be. We're just going to sit here for a second, 58, 43. We're going to actually stop these guys right here. shooting see if they're damaged they're not that was a waste of time damn it okay it doesn't matter this is still gonna be a quick room but uh, it's kind of hoping that they would have been damaged in that short-range deviant no such luck three snare casters this could be somewhat problematic but they're shooting guy I need them to so we ought to be all right it's a little bit of error marks Uh, I prefer to kill the DPS, so you have three snares in here. You, there's only one snare needs to hit you before the rest of those guys are going to start doing a bit more damage, right? So to me, you're better off killing the DPS, there we go. We're already more or less not really dropping too quickly here on that. We still have our ADC. I don't need. I don't feel a need to hit it just yet, and these guys are still dying. And then they're going to switch targets. And now my shield's going up. So, it, it, I didn't need to hit my ADC. This overheated all of 7% damage. If I use Nanite Repair Paste, it would be 1. Those guys should probably follow here. And we're just going to head towards the loot and go grab that and call it a day. Oh. You moved houses on Saturday, or you're going to move houses on this Saturday? Those are two completely different things, but possible to infer from what you said. Moving on Saturday, okay. Are you on mobile? I feel like you're on mobile. Oh my god, this guy has very, very little health left. Nice. Uh, 95 million there. We are not in range of that Deviant, so we're just going to stay here. The reason being is this Deviant, while it does destroy all these frigates, also destroys my missiles. I do not want to be too close to it. Oh, that's actually quite a few field weavers. I did not really pay that close attention to them. You're going to be busy. Actually, you should already be busy just putting stuff in boxes, real realistically. Unlock that. If you have not yet, go follow Dangerous. He's amusing. He's also my boss, so taught me everything I know. Alright, let's shoot that. 
be an unrecognized command. Shout out at dangerous. There we go. Tell me it's an unrecognized command, piece of crap. Shoot that guy, he's the last one not being shot. And we are right by the gate already anyhow, so we'll just inch closer right now. Reload, 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 and we are now up two and a half minutes or so. Yeah. From being ten seconds down, so we're good. Uh, so this one just takes a little bit of time. It's not too bad. Confusers, no newts. Still no newts. Nobody loves that thing. Okay, there's those. We'll get rid of the entanglers first. You can work on some confusers. There are actually quite a few confusers in this. Yeah, so jackdaws are... Oh, ah, uh, crap. Who's, who was it asking about jackdaws earlier? It was... Wrecking Rooney. Uh, you went in defensive mode, right? Because that... Sh your tank should be in defensive mode for that. And oddly enough, not right away, it's, it's a hard-to-time thing. Where what you do is you shoot, like, two volleys in sharpshooter. Your stuff hits overheat... And so no, sorry. So you stop your ship, you overheat your shield uh, extender and booster. It's fine to sh get your booster then too. Uh, start shooting, and that time it so that your your hardener is going to be overheated before they get to you. That has to be done. And after like a volley or two, you should be able to time it a little bit when they start getting close enough to hit you. Uh, switch over to defensive so that your max tank like. It, it's not... Well, you know what? You might be better off hitting defensive sooner on that one. You're doing tier 4s. 4s aren't as bad. But one or two... At least a volley at full damage and in range. Because your range drops to 30 kilometers. If you go to defensive immediately, you're not going to have that range to get a volley or two in. Unrelated note, I, I now this is like a bit of self bragging as well, but it's also to, to put you in the grand scheme of the picture of things. Uh, I can quad box tier fives with jackdaws. Yes. Same as I think my fit has a damage control, and I think I s actually switched it to no damage control on both my tank and my uh, DPS jackdaws that I'm using. Keep in mind that they're also custom jackdaws. Yeah, I filled all three with BCUs. But I also rolled the shield boosters because I wanted uh, a, a better activation cost and I wanted them to be cap stable because paying attention to four of them is a, a pain in the ass. Where are you going? Uh, let's send you guys to the origin. Don't think there's a speed cloud there. Yeah, but here's the thing. I'm paying attention to four accounts with that one, right? That's why it's rolled, is because those things eat through cap pretty quick. Uh, oh, actually, so the other thing is, when do you pop your cap booster? Do you pop your cap booster right away, or do you pop your cap booster when you run out of cap? 
Not this guy. I already talked about you, you son of It's like, I still have to come gank you in, what, four days? Five days? No, 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 no. Pop it immediately. Running out of cap is probably going to kill you. Once you run out of cap, it's hard to get it back. Uh, Angels nuked just enough that if you pop your cap boosters beforehand, they probably won't nuke all of your cap. And your shield boosters keep running. If you wait until you're almost empty, then they nuke through that, you are empty, and shit stops running. Yeah, tier 6 uh, triple box hawks. Just a nice relaxing evening, really. Go, reload you, reload you, reload you. Okay, approach there. This one was a little over 15 minutes, so they're fairly evened out. 323 million, don't know why I copied that, I don't need to. One cap booster down is fine. <laughs> uh, oh, chaos. Okay, grab these guys, activate, activate, activate. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, approximately one bill isk profit in one hour of playing. Okay, let's shoot these guys. Let's go one, two, three on those. You can target those. You work on those ghosts too first. <laughs> I mean, he would deserve it. WD-40 and a fan chaos, really. Uh, yes, you take more damage the further you go out. Uh, Ace, oddly enough, with a regular Damavik spawn. Uh, flying outside of the red wall is now a tactic I use. Because the Damaviks will follow you and they will take damage. Uh, depending on how far out you fly. Three Hawks. These are the two Hawks that you see and then there's this character's Hawk as well. So this is one character that is over there, this is one character that's over here, and then this guy here. Yeah. What, with Hawks? That shouldn't be an issue with Hawks. Oh wait, even Jax, that really shouldn't be a huge issue. Uh, so... I made the mistake of this character is actually supposed to be a little more expensive and is not. Uh, generally, for all three fits, it costs approximately uh, 1.2 billion. I think right now I'm sitting at 1 billion because I, I forgot to upgrade this guy's BCU. He, he's running a cross link instead of a faction. Uh, that, okay, I don't want to be close to that. Looks like we're good though. Let's go up around this. Uh, so that dropped the cost by about a thousand. Uh, so more or less in one hour, these three ships are paid off. I probably lost this one and forgot to upgrade that BCU. So that's generally that's my tier five fit is with non-faction BCUs, uh, and tier six is like I, I try not to give fits specifically for tier six because tier 6 is that much harder that in forgets you should expect to die in there. Chaos, you're not that broke. You should be able to afford a fan. 
Are you like a multi-millionaire or something? I would swear you were. Let's open that and 60 million. That's a kind of shitty one, but that's how it goes. Other times it'll be over 2 million. Or 2 million, 200 million. Look, being rich is the dream. Being famous, which we're failing at, should not be the dream because that can just get you in trouble. Hashtag no pores. Okay, yes. Shoot the arrow. I mean, to be fair, that man has more liquid disc than I do by far. Because I'm a terrible person. Nice quick room, four minutes. If you can get all f all of the rooms done within a five minute time limit, you're doing fantastic. Oh, I, I'm so I've acquired more wealth uh, and less isk, and that's not a bad thing in this game. Shoot one, shoot one, target the rest, escort, target the rest, open that. So much PI, so much PI. Uh, 95 million there, or with that at a thousand. Uh, Chaos, how have you been doing with the Angel Room? Since we have somebody else working with Jack Dawes and has been having issues with the Angel Room. Fine, I suppose I should show you out. Okay. So, I've been saying, because this is how I normally do it overheat, overheat. You can overheat this for a ship. Probably you might be able to do a little more than that with Jack Dawes. Oh, you know what I didn't mention? Anytime you go into a new room, have explosive loaded. That's another thing. Always explosive loaded. Uh, so overheat, overheat, overheat. Fire off a couple volleys as they fly towards you and you fly away. And switch to defensive mode. Like, after, like, two volleys, if you can. If you start getting concerned, obviously hit it sooner. But defensive mode. With a bunch of stuff overheated. Is that about what you do? Symbols first. Non-elite symbols, followed by elite symbols. And pop cap booster right away. Is that about right? Non-elite syllables first. They die quicker. Uh, I think in the room you were talking about, you had three elite syllables, so you didn't have a, a, cha a choice in the matter. You had to kill elite syllables first. But the my, my thought behind it is the non-elite syllables have less total EHP, which means that if you kill them, you're wiping off some of the DPS faster, uh, which is why I go for the non-elites. Oh, uh, for yours was three and three. Yeah, for Reckon, Reckon I think had just three elite cinnables in his, uh, but his was like tier four, so. Yeah, that one is a bit of an anomaly, that's why I don't mention it as often uh, something that can be a problem if you run into it in tier 5, tier 6 is uh, and it, it's not just the fact that it's a lot of frigs, it's the fact that it's a lot of elite dramials uh, a, a large amount of elite dramials and a large amount of dramials 
is still a lot of DPS, and you have to watch out for that. Later, Chaos, you have yourself a wonderful day since you're at day and I'm at or morning since you're at morning and I'm at evening. So the other thing is, is you can pre-roll the sin the standard blue. So you use the standard blue. If you don't like it, be at a station where you have uh, an empty clone. Uh, do it while you're in a pod. It just makes it easier. Uh, use your standard. Don't like it. Swap clones. Swap clones back. Use a standard. You do like it. Use the rest of your pills. I don't do it because I'm a filthy casual. Uh, and a filthy casual streamer at that. But you should be able to do it no problem. Yep, that one will do it. What is that thing's DPS anyway? Does it say? Damage modifier, fine, DPS. No, it does not. Okay, all those guys are shooting, we're good. If you see too many elite Dramiels, it's going to be a rough day. But tier 4 shouldn't be that bad, even with like the worst spawn, it should be relatively okay. Uh, actually, the, that's the other thing, Anna's here. Tier 5 and tier 6, uh, the... what's you call it room? Um, devoted room. I'm usually... Devoted room is usually my favorite room to see ever. It's, it's generally such a quick room. If I see a tier 6 devoted room and there's zero cruisers in it, I'm scared for my life. Uh, I expect that I will probably die. It's very rare. I'm talking like I haven't seen one in months. But when it shows up, all of those frigates fly directly at you instead of staying with the cruiser. And it is painful. Uh, I think last time, I think I survived, but I think it was like tank died and my two DPS got out because it was later in the run or something like that. Uh, this doesn't seem too bad. Let's go this way. What the hell? Fine, I guess so. There are no webs. There are no newts. I can shoot Cryptus right now. That's unusual. And normally in darks, being hit is hard to do, but syndable, that's why syndables are harder, is because they don't lose all of their DPS like some of the other ones do. I think CCP just specifically gave them a, a ridiculous amount. Nice. Good luck. Uh, start off in tier 3. Like, mostly just to, to see where you want to pilot and how you want to pilot. It does make a difference, tier, and also Tier 3, Tier 4. They are so cheap, you're only ever going to make Hisk out of it. Um, T5s do get difficult, be aware of that. But it also lets you realize, or it lets you play with the Angel Rooms, get used to seeing the Angel Rooms and being like, okay, overheat this, overheat this, kill that, kill that, kill that, go. Uh, and that can make a pretty big difference for you. Oh, we're going to hit a blue cloud. I don't like that. Please don't bounce too much. Okay, that's origin. We got lots of time. All right, please don't die, but if you do, it's okay. If you have any questions, here is my Discord. Like, I'm not going to immediately answer them, but I generally get back to any questions within a day on there. Sometimes I don't see Eve mails. I noticed that today. Somebody sent this guy an Eve mail. So, if you're not aware, I'm moderately insane. Uh, I currently have 13 Omega accounts. I'm doing planetary interaction and skill extraction. Uh, skill extraction's on the back burner while I'm training up. But... Uh, it, it'll get there. Uh, the, the planetary interaction, on the other hand, is going very well. 
Uh, I think I pulled close to 15 billion and people are noticing that I'm just crashing PI markets. It makes me think that people are slacking off on PI more than I thought they were. If I can come in with 39 characters and make a dent in it. Uh, besides the point. Uh, where was I going with that? PI, lots of characters, this. Oh, right. I don't always see things on my characters, but if you go on my Discord or you comment on my YouTube stuff, I'll probably... Stinson, weren't you the one who noticed that I was putting a dent in fertilizer last time? I think I hit all your buy orders. That one was fairly bad. 263 million with all of my stuff that I currently have. I almost have to go get some of those. How much time do I got left? I had not enough to do that. Hey Viper Viper, how you doing? Also, anyone coming in, please hashtag hoard so you can take my esc at the end of the night. It's for my end of the night giveaway. You do not have to be here to win it. Actually, I should have sent Chaos to go and enter that as well. Maybe he would have won some esc. He probably could have used it. Uh, my fits are on my YouTube. Give me one moment. And also they are on... Do they show up there? Oh, that changed, but it might still work. Does that still work? Hey, yeah, they are on there. Cool. Uh, so if you search me up on YouTube, you just search Logovol then you will see it there. And my fits should be in there somewhere. Oh, redoing PI is the worst. I, I was going through my characters and I'm like, oh, this character already has PI, that's fan. No, 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 that's, that's in my old space. All right, bye-bye. Reloading, five minutes left. And thank you for bringing that up. Uh, I do the in-game name system there, and uh, <laughs> and that's just three of the ten things I'm making. Uh, Mercy is the mark. Norm forty two. Thank you for the prime sub. I super appreciate it. Oh, oh, Hope you have a wonderful one. evening. Oh. Mine's definitely not going too bad. Oh, I'm all right. Uh, so, I haven't been ganked in my Hawks in a while. Uh, people have definitely been trying to come and gank me. Raphael, thank you for the follow in uh, my Draugrs. Uh, they failed the first time because I warped off my Orca. Uh, and they failed the second time because I was not flying my Draugrs. So, stack that. Five, drag that 253. That sucks. That one's a little bit down, but that's all right. Robotics Bay, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, let's activate that for that. And there was one more in there that I missed. I apologize, but I need to get into this next abyssal. I've got about 11 minutes to get to the third hall. Oh, not even. I've got nine and a half minutes to try to get to the third room. Uh, more tenor crazy. Thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. Okay. Mm, three. That's fine. What do we have around here? Can't tell, but we'll go take a look. Orbit at 20. Tangling. We've got two. Starving. We've got a few. So, uh, a couple things that are very important to know about running abyssals like this, if you were running three accounts. Uh, one is you can set a key that allows you to regroup your characters. It is insanely useful. Uh, you have to go into your shortcuts and do it that way, but for triple boxing, fantastic. Best thing they ever added for me. Um, for... What was the other thing? Damn it, there was something else. No, I can't remember. You're, we're done. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it is under... General? No. Obviously shortcuts, damn it. Shortcuts, navigation, fleet regroup. Uh, 
Oh man, I've, I've been running these forever. Uh, actually, one of my favorite fits right now is the Draugr for Firestorms. That thing is a beast. And Firestorms, they're probably not going to go to up too much in, for a while, anyway. I know a guy who has just a little bit stupid of a stock of Firestorms, so if they went up any significant amount, he would just make ridiculous amounts of this just off his filaments. But, uh, I absolutely have uh, a way of running them now, so that's absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, it makes a little bit less, but on the other hand, I do like being able to use the cheapest filament to make ISK. It's just nice, you know, costing 6 million to go in, as opposed to 105 million, or 30 million instead of 105 million. Uh, well, actually, no, for that it's it's 2, so it's 20 million or 4 million, my bad. But it's also only duo, so you're only getting twice the ISK, so it's like, mm, it's not three times. Nurgles are better for tier 5. Hmm. I need to buy Nurgles. Okay, so newts are done. You are a little lower than I want on cap. Uh, yeah, because you're going down to that. I never ran Kikis. Kikis are not a... They don't have enough uh, tank to do anything more than probably tier 1, tier 2. you so far away. Oh, that would do it. Son of a bitch. I want to talk about it. Okay, none of his mods were on. Draugrs. They they work fantastic. I've been able to run tier 6 with Draugrs. Um, tier 5 is probably where they're better at, but uh, I've, I've lost one set so far in tier 6. I've definitely made uh, a couple billion isk with them. It's a weird combo though, Hunter. Can't tell me that's not weird. Does he have his fit listed? Because he flies shit that's far more expensive than what I want to take into the FS. Nurgle Retri Deacon. Uh, he, run those, he runs those in Firestorms, right? Hawk Kieran Skybreaker? I don't even know how that's enough DPS for tier 6. Uh, 101 million there. Uh, Flashy 2K, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, Rocket Hawk. Okay, well, still. You're reloading. You're going. You two are going to be reloading. Okay, so let's take uh, you. Let's simulate. Let's drop you. Show info. Variations. Shoot. Shoot. Drop that. Navy ballistic, navy ballistic. Two, two, and two. with Scourge Rage. So, 400 DPS. Okay? 400 DPS. That and the Skybreaker is not enough to do Endobenthics. 
Now, he's not my DPS, so... Oh, crap. I missed one. That's a mistake. Alright, I have to pay attention to the rest of the rooms now. Nah, uh, we're not too bad. But, like... Yeah. I, I would think it would easily die with two endos. So, for example, this guy's 220, 230, and these guys are 280. So, 560, like, 800 DPS for all three. Uh, this should be fine. Orbit this at 30. I don't like that blue cloud. Dissipators and Tanglers. And we got three Null Charges as well. Chaos, if you're here, this is why you need to be able to see that those are Null Charges. I missed that one. I'll get it in a sec. Uh, Lunacore, thank you for the follow. How am I not webbed yet? What's going on here? There it is. Dissipator. We've got a couple dissipators dead already. I'm going to hit that ADC early, right there. Uh, and one of the reasons is I'm still in the blue cloud. Damn it. Uh, the other the reasons is that I'm letting this reload get through. Okay, got that. Last dissipator, last dissipator. Going to overheat this guy a little bit. Uh, pilot fleet watch list. He might be in a little bit of trouble. He's being neutered. Uh, let's shoot this guy. He's overheating pretty well everything right now. This guy's out of the blue cloud. Uh, I stopped overheating my shield booster. So. For value, you get a lot more out of heat sh overheating your hardener than you do your shield booster. So if you only need one, always overheat your hardener. Uh, if you need both, overheat both. It's okay. Overheating should be something that happens moderately often in tier 6s. Uh, if you run into an issue and it can be solved by overheating, solve it by overheating. Uh, if you're a better player than I am, bring Nanite Repair Paste with you. You can fix it in between. Okay, I think we might be hitting that speed cloud, and I don't really want to, but I should be able to DPS anyway. So we're going to go do it, if that's what it comes to. Is that a speed cloud? That looks like one. How have I not hit this thing yet? Whatever. Alright. I'm gonna sit there. I mean, tier 6 is where you have to be using every trick up your sleeve. If you're not, then there's definitely problems. Uh, medium range deviant we're not concerned about. I'm just going to sit here for a second, because it looks like there should be clouds literally everywhere, and they do not seem to be right here. So if I can sit here, a couple of these guys going fast, but not faster than missiles, should be all right. Where is this in relation? Not worried about that blue cloud right now. Uh, did you see how I ended up running the Nurgle against Tezra's recently? I, I say recently, but uh, I, I haven't been running a lot lately of those. I should be. And there's that wall.
All right, so main cap booster or main uh, things here have fall have dropped off. If we need to hit our ca our uh, boosters, we're going to do it. If we don't need to hit our boosters, we're not going to do it. That's how that works. Uh, time left is eight minutes, so we're doing good on time. So, for example, like age, so there's the drone gimmick. But there's also just moving the front ship and letting your other two deal with it. Uh, Cryptus, we're fine. We do not need boosters for Cryptus. Uh, we have some entanglers and dissipators. We're not going to fly into that stupid blue cloud. So what I would do is I would move my tank ship. And my tank ship would just go fly off wherever. Uh, away from everything, obviously. Uh, only one will switch from my tank to my DPS. Medium. Okay, we're good. Uh, and that made it so that I could just kill them all from a distance without, like, kill them all. This guy just stays away. I'm not worried about range on these guys, so they're not flying out of range. They can continually apply their DPS without any real issue. Uh, and that made it so that everything would die pretty good. Yes, I'm losing one entire character's worth of DPS. But it didn't actually seem to make a difference. Because this character had less DPS anyway, because he was the tank. So, fly around the edge, orbit target at 15, and kill them. Still at mystic range. So actually, I think I could even orbit at 10 without any real issue. Uh, if I if it was reasonable to do so, I would focus on the one shooting my alts first. Yeah, you still don't want to get too close to them with uh, your other ammo, unfortunately. So the nice thing about Cryptus is, is you, I orbited Cryptus earlier. You don't have to. Cryptus follows you. You're not worried about whatever range Cryptus is at. You're just not flying directly at Cryptus. That's your only goal is, hello Cryptus, I'm not going to make a line directly to you. Uh, here's the thing is, I, I would have to say like 5% for me. It, it's a partially made up number, I apologize for that, but I, I can't really give you a specific number. Uh, I know that this particular setup has lived for at least eight hours. It only has to live for an hour and a half to be paid off. So it's well paid off. Pretty sure it's made about 20 billion so far uh, for a 1.2 maximum billion-esque setup. Um, so yeah, like, I, I don't die very often. The, the thing, I usually don't die more than once in a day if I'm running four or five hours. Uh, some, and I can not die for multiple days doing that. So it's, it's, it's a pretty big thing. Usually, right? Uh, so for darks, darks fly, every, it, it flies different all the time. There's a lot of things that can affect how the ships fly in these. Uh, in most things, everything but dark. Uh, Cryptus doesn't follow you. Cryptus runs away and snipes you. Cryptus is a sniper. Uh, darks, Cryptus follows you because Cryptus doesn't have the same range. That's medium, so we can not quite yet. We're going to start heading up. Or now. Yeah, I guess now is fine. Thanks. Um, not quite. But uh, Cryptus is a sniper, so Cryptus generally wants to go far away and shoot you. But that's not the case for these guys. Cryptus will follow. Cryptus has a, instead of like a 70 kilometer range, like at best a 30 kilometer range in here. And the fall off, like the minus 70 and minus 70, for some reason just seems to shut her right down. It's great. Um, and as usual, if you're close enough, Cryptus doesn't really apply damage anyway, so it's not a huge issue. Uh, Confuser, and Spear Fisher, and shoot that. Now it's not always minus 70, sometimes it's minus 50, but 
this is one of the ones where you actually get control of the endobenthic and the charybdis uh, and it makes a huge difference you fly around where there's not clouds and not turrets 178 million there we go thank you and you have con you have more control in this uh, in with other ones uh, for example my firestorms with draugers or firestorms with nurgles I have to chase Charybdis and the difference there is is that that means that if I'm chasing it might be in a blue cloud it might be into a tracking tower it might be into both and I don't really have a choice in the matter I have to or through stinking heat clouds I don't really have a choice in the matter I have to follow uh, Yeet Clouds, by the way, make sure you turn off your ABs and that you orbit each character individually. It's very important, I'm just saying. Uh, origin, origin, origin. So what's the time on this? Uh, so an, a little under an hour and eight minutes. Approach there, open fleet hangar. Let's go stack one. Five. There we go. That's a little bit better of one. That makes up for the the shitty one we had. Let's go here. Please ignore anything there. Uh, let's dock up there. That guy and dock. 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 I should just be able to open this, right? Stack that. Damn it! Went off. All right. Let me go over to this character then. Fleet Hanger. So, if I take off the boosters, hobgoblins, and darks that I have in there, uh, estimated value of 1.259, well, 1259 million isk. Not counting blueprints. I don't think I see anything too super cool for blueprints, though. Uh, so, a little under what I would normally get. Normally, it hits about 1.4, but. Uh, that is how it goes. So that one's probably closer to like the 800 million isk threshold instead. But still really good isk. Scourge. That 260 really hurts. So there's times I get 400s and 500s in the hour instead. And those are fantastic. Stack that. Four cap boosters. You overheated a little bit, so well, I'm gonna do repairs on everyone just to make sure. Yeah, so th this fit is uh, the cheaper version that I'm not actually supposed to be flying. I was supposed to switch this for something else, but my tank is 220 million. Uh, my other ones, let me see what you're currently at, uh, are 500. So 1.2 billion for the fleet, unless I messed you up. Nope, 1.2. And they made about that much in the first hour of today. So Scourge, we're going to grab 2,500 of that. Uh, you need Kata. Three of those. Four hundreds. Grab five of those. Stack that. That character's in. I need to trade some of my Katas. Uh, ten. Over to this character. There. Okay. So here is my basic T5 fit. Uh, if you're going into tier 6, you should. Come on. There we go. Uh, you should know what to change to make it work for tier 6. Uh, and to be fair, you can run that in tier 6. It's good for learning it. Uh, but it will be challenging, I promise you that. And you may run out of time. But if you, if your problem is you're running out of time, you're still making a ton of isk. Uh, for your tank, 
switch out one of the BCUs for an ADC. Okay. Okay, so you need Scourge 2300. And 400s. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop an hourly draw for you guys back. Create hourly, hourly, create. Announce that. I will be back in just a minute. I'm going to leave you guys with a couple minute ad break. Uh, enter that draw, hashtag hourly to enter. Here I will show you. And uh, we'll draw that when I get back, unless I'm a filthy casual and I forget. Feel free to remind me. And I will be back in a couple minutes. And I should draw that before I go into the next abyss, but we'll see what happens. All right, I'm assuming that's done. Yes, it is. So, let's go, move on. Announce is closed, draw the winner, and a flashy 2K congratulations on winning 100 million esque. Let's see if your IGS is in here. It sure is, look at that, that makes it easy for me. I just go over here, you don't have to be here, just so you know. If you have to go to the washroom, you have to go put the kids to bed. If you've entered the draw, you're in my draw. The, the only exception so far. Oh yeah, you absolutely can, just not with Hawks. Gila's can, Ishtar's can, uh, Vagabond's can. Uh, I'm not sure about some of the other ones. Okay. Just double check these guys, because I like to do that. They look like they're good to go. Oh, ah, uh, one second. Let me go grab that. And dark. Okay, just chaotic. Perfect. Copy. Eve Appraisal is dead, but currently it has all the links to the ones I like to use now. Thank you, take it. Uh, 1.23 billion estimate for sell and buy on that stuff. Uh, undock. Undock. 
Undock. And Undock. Turn those on. Okay. Uh, no negatives on that guy, no negatives on that guy, and no negatives on that guy. So we're all perfect rolls again. That's fantastic. And unusual, but still, I'm happy with it. Approach, approach, activate for fleet, and off we go. I don't, but you should. So we've got sentinels here. They're going to take a minute to catch up with us. We're going to focus on these Scylla first. I'm going to not make it so deep. I want them to catch up a smidgen. Uh, the sentinels, or the lucids rather, they're not very fast ships. They're going to take a little bit to catch up. So you can kill the, the Scyllas in that time. Also, they're all going to fly into your missiles, so if you don't go straight at them, that's fine. Obviously, we don't want to go out of the abyss either, so that works too. Okay, these guys are still not in web range. These guys are nowhere close to being in any range. I should be able to tank them if I needed to anyway. What's this, 50 or 70? 70? Yeah, they're not going to hit very well. One and three. You can start shooting one of these sentinels afterwards. This guy has a Scylla Null Charge and a Sentinel neutering him. Uh, so this one might be able to nude a little bit. That's the one that has nude on him. Uh, the other one's not so much. No web. Uh, there is still an Entangler up. Make sure that guy dies first. The upholders are not close enough yet. So I'd have to be concerned. Two and three. Yeah, so it's definitely a good idea to reroll. Um, the only problem is, is if you have four hour boosters, you can't. It's, you, oh, well, unless you don't mind losing your four hour boosters. Uh, kind of sucks a little bit, but I mean, that's the way it goes. Uh, me, I, I just don't. I, I should. I probably lose more ships than uh, is, is acceptable because of that. But I'm okay with that because I still make tremendous mass visk. Tremendous amounts of risk. I do not. And so, if you tanked it enough, you could, but there's still no guarantee you'd survive. There are ships that, with a little bit of bad luck, you are going to get one shot. So, I don't really recommend it. All right, there is one sentinel left. He's being shot at and killed. He's almost dead, actually. Uh, and then after that, there's really not a lot left. So, hawks can do darks. Same with jackdaws. Um, 
Draugr's can run Firestorms, and they should be able to run Gammas as well. I haven't tried them in there yet. Um, if they can run Firestorms, I don't really see the point. Um, Nurgles, same thing. Uh, except they can only do up to Tier 5 because of chasing around things, although... Still tempted to try more micro warp drive fit and see how that goes, but I don't think it's a great idea yet. Um, what else? Oh, uh, retributions can run electric and firestorm. They definitely do a lot better in electric though. So I started running Hawks and Darks when this first came out, and that's quite a while ago now. What do we got here? That doesn't look too bad. Uh, three Entanglers. One, two, three. Then we're going to go Cryptus after that. We can just start flying this way, actually. I was like, I can go Orbit that. It's like, no, don't be lazy. Lazy is what's going to get you killed. Just go over here. Kill those three dudes. Kill Charybdis, next room you're fine. Being lazy most of the time is what's going to kill you. It's, it's not, you know, oh, I, I did this completely wrong. It's, oh, I can orbit that. No, no, just manually fly. It's not that much harder. You can still throw your hands up in the air for 30 seconds at a time and just not care. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And it's not an issue. Just, just manually pilot. God damn it. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I have died way too many times because it's like, okay, I want to make this faster. Gonna kill the Drakovics first. They don't have armor. They're dying. And it's like, oh. The tanglers, the uh, tangling kikis caught me. Oh, I've died. Oh, I don't have the DPS to kill them anymore. All of my fleet's dead. I should have killed the tanglers first. I can't tell you how many times I've had that conversation with myself. It is not a pleasant conversation to have with yourself after an abyssal. I'm, I'm telling you that right now. Like, as if this isn't lazy enough. I don't need to orbit. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Like, look, this is all I have to do. Son of a bitch. Oh look, I picked a different direction. Good job me. I know, right? Like, Jesus. Here's Loki making 1.4 billion disc an hour. He's not even doing anything. See, now Charybdis is dead, and I can do what I want to and be as lazy as I want to. It's all, see, now I can go orbit. It's fine. Uh, Scyllas take longer than a fealties. That's more just something to be aware of than anything. Like, it's, it's not a, a deal breaker. This room should take you less than 6 minutes and 40 seconds. Which, if you're not aware of, is how long you have per room in any of the Abyss. I promise you, if you're running some of the higher end Abyssals, you are very aware of your 1340 and your 640 timers. Because there's times you're like, <laughs> 12 minutes for two rooms is not good. Uh, 195 million there, beauty. Stack that. Or with that at a thousand. Uh, we don't care about red clouds, we just care about, uh, at this point in time, speed clouds, really. <laughs> Alright, let's check 
Nubot here right quick. I can archive that one. Let's manage this one and just announce that it's still open for you. You are out of missiles, you're out of missiles, you're out of missiles. Everybody's out of missiles. Let's approach this. We don't even need speed anymore. We can just go sit on this thing and wait until they're done. Shoot. Shoot. Those two should be about dead. You're reloading. Good job, you. Means this guy can shoot here. So I usually like a fresh reload every time I go in, but if I'm a couple missiles short, it's fine. It's not ideal, but it is fine. There we go. So this guy is full, but he's not my DPS, so. However, my other two are at 49 and 48. I'm fine with that. It shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't be an issue. Not with 10 minutes and 20 seconds left for the last room. <gasps> it's not going to matter. All right. One, two, three. This one, we orbit this at 15. We're, we care about short-range deviants. There are none. 15. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is one of my favorite rooms ever. The only thing that beats this room out is the what you call it room uh marshal room and that's because i'm an idiot and i like to run the marshal room really fun and it's a terrible idea but i love doing it okay so if you are not familiar with the starving leshics they have a huge newt but it's quite infrequent and you can usually get your cat back you're not concerned about it now, this is my one of my favorite ones in Darks. This is one of my least favorite rooms in Firestorms, where these guys start with 30% armor and then start remote repping each other. And it is horrid. Then I'm flying all over the goddamn place, trying to hunt down these stupid blindings. So they're getting out of range and I can't shoot them and my range sucks anyway, because it's like seven kilometers with a cult. I want to do the most damage with them so they can die quicker, and I hate them so, so much. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Nurgle problems. Just do need to run more Nurgles. <laughs> oh, there's a high that I have not paid attention to. Uh, one moment here. Phoenix, Asgold, Nurgles. Blinding, blinding, blinding. 15 times Nurgles times Valley's 4 Nurgles. Okay, thanks. Bye. Uh, ask something about that. How many times have I done that? Would I prefer another ship instead? Thanks for helping. This one, I think this is my normal jacked off it. That number looks familiar, which is oddly disturbing. Okay, so that fit is. Come on, load up. What are you doing? See, this is why I haven't been doing Abyssal uh, Tracker lately. It's, it's been quite slow. Version 4 Jack. Yep, that's the one. Wait a minute. What AB was on that thing? Oh, yeah, no, it's faction. We're good. send me this one. Oh, it was only yesterday. Thank God. I, I'm doing fine. Uh, close that one. Yes. Grab that. Uh, 113 million more. Good stuff. Approach there. Reload. Reload. Over to you. Reload. And this one was done in under 14 minutes. So 
So as a streamer, I'm a little more likely to get ganked. It's hard to tell whether it's because I'm streaming or whether it's because I'm just running this. Uh, my droggers, they were being hunted when I was not streaming. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Estimated 408. Okay, and we need uh, some more darks. Miso, how you doing? If you haven't hashtag horde, you should know better. Dorian, how are you doing today? All right, I'm a terrible person. I love this. Wee! Uh, orbit five thousand. Don't do this at home, guys. Uh, we're gonna go attacker. That. Attacker, that, that, that. Don't be a short range deviant. Okay, good. Uh, drainer, 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 drainer. Orbit of 5,000. Uh, let's go markers. Crap, you're already shooting the drainer. Who's getting drained? Why is nobody getting... What's going on here? Guess we'll never know. Okay, so for anyone who is not aware of my shenanigans, um, I do not recommend this, but I love doing it. I... I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, I like going around the Thunder Child uh, in such a way that it these guys die to the Thunder Child, and I don't really have to do anything. It makes for a really quick room. Uh, you should not fly towards these guys and be hit by all of them. It's a bad idea. Uh, however, I thoroughly enjoy doing it every single time, so... I haven't shot this guy. I didn't shoot the other one. The Thunder Child is doing my job for me. Contempo with a rate of 89. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you fine people this evening? Somebody fire! All right, let's get this guy dead, this guy dead, this guy dead. Go grab all the loot. Thank you all from coming from Nigel's stream. I super appreciate you guys coming out. I hope Nigel streamed some very interesting things for you today and uh, kept you entertained with his absolutely fantastic content, 123 million views. Contempo, Very thank there. you for the 34 months. You were a better oh. person than I am, I'm sure. Oh, I guess I'm just a good man. To be fair, I know that for a fact. I'm a terrible oh. person. I love it so. Oh, I'm all right. Uh, yeah, I, I had to turn it down a little bit. Uh, Nigel is Contempo's duck. Which, if you don't know coming from Contempo stream, I'm very sorry. Uh, let's go. I shouldn't really need to, I mean, but I'm going to. Uh, at Contempo, shout out, there we go. Go follow him if you're not. You really should. He is has a very chill, entertaining stream. Uh, he has things like marbles and cool draw elements to it and stuff like that, and I appreciate him very much. Uh, so we've got that. I don't think I want to go that quickly into this. Let's go snare casters first. Don't see a medium range deviant, and I want to stay away from the short range deviant. That is not away from the short range deviant. Hopefully, this is just red clouds under here, but I hate clouds, so we'll find out real quick, I guess. 
Okay, they are all shooting me and I'm not webbed yet. That's exactly it. Contempo is, in fact, Nigel Seaman. How's your stream tonight? What shenanigans did you get up to tonight? My god, I don't like anywhere around here. Let's go this way, I guess. No, this way. You're welcome. You and your fellows deserve it. Okay, so realistically, I prefer this guy to kill the frigates and these guys to kill the uh, endobenthics. These two, rather. Uh, however, I made the mistake of targeting him first on this guy, so these two are going to kill the endobenthic and he's going to kill frigates. She will do a fantastic job of. And that's the way to do it. Mine too. My stream has also been slow and chill. Thank you. Uh, are you hunting for the uh, bits for the lore bits? Lore bits. They're like score bits and scorpids and all those other things. I'm using three characters. I mean, I have 13 Omegas, but I feel like running 12 Omegas in the Abyss at the same time is probably like a little bit challenging and I might have to like wait on that for a little bit. I, I need a bigger screen for that to be fair. They're all hawks. This guy is also a hawk. So hawk, hawk, and hawk. Does help if this one shoots a little more. I'm not going to lie. To be fair, he's not doing a bad job. Ah! Actually, just gonna go up this way a little bit more. Shoot. Should still have a fair bit of room to maneuver up here. I do believe that's in the title, though, is it not? Uh, triple box T6 Darks. I did not put that it's in Hawks, but. Good point, good point. You win. Ah, triple P. Don't you already know the answer to this? So, Gila is the uh, abysmal king of single abyssals. Uh, but not necessarily of triple abyssals. There's a bit more for triples. Uh, to be fair, the Gila isn't necessarily the best overall either. Uh, as much as we like to say it is. Uh, there are people who are highly, highly, highly successful in not that. Uh, and they, for example, the Vagabonds with uh, the Corrupted and Gerald Suke Thorn, I want to say. Uh, they pretty well have it. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm still firing, which I am. Uh, they pretty well have it down to 100% success rate. Uh, those two. And it's because they know the strategy, they have all the technique down, it's hard to fly, but they are flying it perfect. And they're not running the most expensive filament, which is electrical, so they're doing well. Um, fly the Abyss however you have fun. Uh, a lot of people find the Gila boring, which is why I don't fly it. Oh, uh, also, is it is it pronounced Gila or Gila Contempo? Um, so, fly however you have fun is, is the general rule of thumb. Yes, Contempo, I'm glad I finally did that to you on my stream. And part of the problem with it being boring is it being boring brings in an element of it not being safe uh, because people don't pay attention enough 
and that will get them killed, which is hilarious in its own right. Now, one thing I promise you is, well, okay, so maybe there's the odd time that I don't pay enough attention in Hawks. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I miss positive, and that's the main thing to me. Uh, the amount of isk it takes to pay off, probably a tier 6 Gila. Oh, I, I would not look forward to having to refarm that or one of uh, Torvald's Stormbringers, Storm Cheaters, because it would take a bit to get that going again. Uh, 77 million, you piece of crap. That's a terrible run. Okay, by run, I mean room. Just room. Alright, so. Three guys shooting him. He's in armor. We're going into the last room. We still have ten minutes left with an endobenthic room. We're doing alright here. That is a thing that's a problem with the hawk sometimes too. Is and actually, I, I think that's why the the throwaway hawks were never too big of a thing. I think it's just demoralizing to lose that many ships. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, some people dislike that ship immensely. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, there is one snare caster. I'm not going to be focusing on it, though. I prefer to kill the DPS, is how I run it. Now, one snare caster, it, we, could, we could make an argument for killing it. Any more than that, though. Because they have a small signature radius, they take longer to kill, and it can be problematic trying to chew through all of those. We're going to overheat this just in case. Might just be one cycle, but we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, it can be problematic to try chew through too many uh, snare casters, and that can actually lead you to dying. So just be aware of that. It's not always worth it to kill the snare casters first. Sometimes it is. Uh, there's still quite a few blast lands left, so I'm like this much concerned. Not really. We do have to move. Oh, this web is not on me right now. It switched targets. It's not a very strong web either, so. And once they switch targets, they're dead. I mean, this, so usually, usually what gets me is it's not the fact that uh, I get bored of a ship; it's that I get annoyed at the price of the uh, the filaments. So, for example, uh, way back when, before tier six existed, and tier five was the king of filaments, and they were starting to get real easy to run. Like, people are like, oh, it's so hard now. It's like, yep, but uh, it sure weren't when it was just tier 5. Besides the point, we're getting away from that. Uh, a, a certain streamer who unfortunately perished in a, car, in a motorcycle accident uh, definitely drove the price of my darks from $3 million a piece to $30 million a piece. Uh, and that's when I had to learn how to triple box Nurgles in the Abyss. Uh, which still works. They were actually, they're still quite good. Uh, they run the cheapest filament and they pull out quite a bit of isk. But yeah, Hateless definitely made the price go. I'm, I'm convinced it was Hateless. From uh, 3 million of filament to 30 million, million of filament. I just wasn't willing to pay that to run the Abyss. I like running the cheap ones, thank you. Which is why I ended up finding Draugr's, which ended up going just way too well. I mean, so that's absolutely true. You know, don't fly what you can't afford to lose. Uh, and that that still rings true for this. You should not be going into Tier 5, Tier 6 Abyss uh, with a 250 to 500 million isk ship if you can't afford to lose that ship. I have 30 replacements right now in station. I, I might need a couple missile launchers, but I have 30 replacement ships. Uh, <coughs> no, no, he used to do this. 
Uh, he used to use my fit for the abyss, and he came in and he ran it very, very, very. Uh, he didn't run it quite as well as me, but he did run it well enough. And it was always funny, because uh, Hateless being the person who was, he'd be like, uh, Hey, I want to make this, this flip fit, and it can't die. And I'm like, Hateless, you have to be more careful than that. I, I believe you that this fit's working very well, but I don't believe you that it can't die. I was like, no, 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 they, they can't hit you. Because I, I put on a halo set, and my signature radius is now too small for them to hit me. I'm like, all right, Hateless. Let's see it. So he'd run it, and then like two weeks, he'd, he'd do really well. He'd make a bunch of isk, and like two weeks later, he would die, and he'd be like, all right, never mind. Ooh, I haven't seen these guys tonight. So one snare caster. Uh, none of those. Let's orbit this at 25. This is one I can do this in. I have to kill that snare caster first. Then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You target that. 1, 2. You get 1, 2, 3. You get these guys. You get these guys. You're going to blast through them fairly quick. Our range is about 47 kilometers. We're good there. Let me grab my normal fit here. So, I'm going to show you a fit. All right. Now, the thing about this is, is two things. One, my way is not the only way to run this. You run this however you see fit to run this. I, I don't want you coming in here and being like, Loki, you know what? I have a much better way of running it. Here, let me tell you all about it. It's like, you know what? If it works better for you, go ahead. All right? There's many ways to run many things. My way isn't the only way, and it's not the only right way. If you're having fun, if you're risk positive, if you're not raging and throwing shit away, you're fine. Run it that way. It's good. Here's my basic fit. This is more or less my learning fit for the Abyss. The reason being is simulate. This fit costs 266 million isk. And in the grand scheme of things, that means that if you're running tier 5, you can pay three of these off, not counting filament costs, in an hour. Filament costs in an hour are going to be about 120 to 150 million isk. It has a CPU for that 2.1% there. Uh, and each of these runs. Uh, at how much DPS is it? 258 DPS without pyro. So it's got decent amount of DPS. You're going to drop this for an ADC. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. And I'm, I'm not saying preach in a, in a good way either. I'm just saying preach in general. Uh, so swap on your tank one of these crosslinks for an ADC. You can run tier 5s. It's going to die to angels eventually. Uh, starting off, when you're not used to it, it's going to die to angels fairly frequently. Because angels require proper overheating, uh, proper management. You need them to switch DPS at some point in time or you're going to be in trouble. Angels are just a, a bad day all around. But uh, once you get good enough at it, You'll be able to run these and make all kinds of buckets of isk, and you're really not that worried about it. <laughs> Rumor, I just saw your name, your thing there about uh, your five billion isk gila. Uh huh. Yeah, probably not. My fir the first thing I do every single time is get more ships. Okay, that was weird. You look like you flew right beside the transfer conduit, and you apparently did not. This one. Approach there, kill that one. That one's further away. That means this one's going to catch up. But we've got two people shooting C. 
and then I'll have two people shooting three, and, or three people shooting them, rather, and then we'll be going for the loop and going for the cat or going for the exit. So we're good there. I usually like to be in position a little bit earlier, but this one's not too bad, and we're only a little over four minutes in, so we're making fantastic time on this. Yeah, all three characters need Omega. I mean, currently I have 13 characters that have Omega, so... Uh, there's none to... I'm not sure about launching them. Recalling them is either Shift-R control or Control-R. I, I think it's Control-R. If there's a launch one, I don't know it. Shift F? Okay, there you go. Thank you, Sidewinder. Oh my god, this thing's... T okay, I'm... F the hell? Okay, I have to fly this way. Just until those arresters are dead. Medium deviance. Okay, so, uh, all of these guys, well, rather, the Thunder Child, the Thunder Child, the Skybreaker, and the Stormbringer, they have a 10 kilometer bounce range, okay? So if you're getting shot within that range there, it's and other things are within 10 kilometers, it's going to bounce between them. I know, right? Not mine. Uh, so, you can use that a little bit to your advantage. So, we're orbiting this one. Uh, these two are going to hit each other. We're going to shoot two. It's a problem with living in an apartment sometimes. Uh, or not a problem. One of the two. So we're going to get two dead, and they're going to work on one. And they kind of help towards that. We're, we can go there now. And these guys might... No, they didn't get it. It's unfortunate. Uh, and then we have the Skybreaker, but we don't really even care about him. He's more of an afterthought. No remote reps here, so we're good just shooting these guys. So one thing I never really realized, I always thought, like, you know, you'd hear a loud motorcycle and you'd be like, what a dick, if you're not a motorcycle person. Uh, one thing I found out about them is, for some people at least, not necessarily all, but definitely some. Um, the point of having a louder bike is that it can potentially save your life. In the fact that if it's a louder bike, that means that as you're driving on, say, the highway or somewhere, uh, people are able to hear that your bike is there. And that means that, oh my god, this guy almost died from other things. Uh, and that means that you can safely move around. As long as you're not being a dick, there you go. Loud pipes save lives. Uh, therefore, as long as you're not being a dick and flying in between two lanes of traffic because you're impatient to get to work in the morning, that it's it's safer for those bikes. And I say that because me and Bell saw someone absolutely drive in between two lanes of traffic because he was impatient one day. Which is, in fact, dangerous. And I'm not talking, like, one car's worth. No, 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 no. He did it down a long lane of cars. But same with anything. You've got good eggs and you've got bad eggs everywhere, right? Is that two rooms and I have 11 and a half minutes left? It's fantastic. Oh, sure. Just pull that on me, would you? Okay. Stopped all my guys. Let's overheat this. Let's overheat this on all my guys. I'm gonna wait just another second. Doesn't look like there's blue clouds over here. Let's go this way. Two, three. One, two, three. 
That's last one is a dram meal. Pop that. Shoot that. Overheat that. Cinnable. This has a few elite dram meals. I'm not a fan of that. There we go. Cinnable, cinnable, cinnable. That's the other thing I was supposed to do. You guys need to regroup real quick. Okay. My guy is very slow, and that is kind of dangerous and bad. However, there's only the one Cinnable left. And that Cinnable is still on this guy. Okay, you're fine on that, but I cannot leave. Uh, we're going to turn that off. I think he'll be dead and I'll be alright by that point. There we go. So, there are quite a few Dramules in this. The Elite Dramules. These guys web. However, you're not better off killing them before the Cinnable. Uh, for the simple fact that uh, they take quite a few shots. So, even though that web is going to make you hurt so much... Uh, you need to take care of the DPS, not those. So, there we go. Angel Room is done. Nothing to worry about. These guys don't need to overheat. Did not worry about that one Fury that's uh, nuding here. I can take care of him in a moment or two. We're going to kill a couple more of these. Actually, we'll probably kill all of these elites in order. And I am down 28% armor. Not bad. Lots of overheating. This thing is 55% damaged. I'm, this guy's going to have to repair. These guys, eh, I don't have to repair them. They should be fine. You're shooting the wrong one. That's okay. I mean, the Fury 88 is dangerous. The Lucifer Fury is it's not so much. Uh, okay, so one thing I, I kind of try to watch out for is that these guys aren't too far away. And by too far away for this, I'm talking like 30 kilometers, okay? Because if he starts getting too far away, they, they'll chase and... Or, sorry, uh, you can get out of range with your missiles, and that's just a pain. Nurgles, it's a little bit shorter of a range than that, but, you know, that's how Nurgles work. Uh, kill the Fury. Kill the fury, kill the fury. Approach that. And I still have time for one more. Okay, so. Here's what's going to happen. You, if you run into something like this, you're not going to go in again right away. Oh, wait. I should, you know what? I should have almost just bring extras of those. If I bring extras of these, I can repair them in the Orca. Like... Oh, that's a good run. So run. extra. So, so extra. extra. So extra. <laughs> uh, I can repair. I can just like bring extras in the orca that are fully repaired, and swap them out, and that's hilarious and terrible. I mean, these are a little expensive, but these are not. You know, it's not like nanite would be an easier choice, Loki. Okay, Ixian's got a little more health. We're going to kill that, and you can kill the Medusa. Lots of time left, though. I, yeah, he's just going to run and repair, and the other two are fine. There, uh, let's orbit. Orbit. Open fleet hangar. So that was under 15 minutes, and about 600 million isk with a valleys. 
So that was a very good run. So 250 million there. Un Ballistic, heat sink, Vellies, uh, Cat of Dark, Fire, and Gamma. Chaotic Electrical. Yeah, that was a good run. Let's take you. I'm just gonna go dock you up right quick. My other two didn't overheat tank at all, so I don't really feel as much of a need to bring them in for the repair. I mean, I would say so, yes. You know what, you can just grab one of these. Uh, Infidel, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I mean, it also depends on, on the, the boosters you're using. Like, tier 4, you shouldn't really need... Uh, oh, god damn it, one sec. Uh, 3, 4... So there's 5 symbols, but there's less of those. There's a few echoes. Let's see what happens here. I spoke way too soon. Shoot two first. Don't really need to pop cap booster right away. We'll hit about here. So, see how I'm running low on cap? I popped a cap booster first. That makes a difference to me. And that means that when they start switching, which they have, now the DPS is split, I still have cap. And I am not in too bad of a shape. All right, now all three of these guys are being shot. Uh, we have a little bit of speed here. Ooh, there's a speed cloud. Do I think I need a speed cloud? I don't believe so. Shoot, shoot, and shoot. Everyone's doing fine. One thing you do need for these is fairly max skills. It, it really makes a difference. Turning that off for the moment. Who is shooting you? A is shooting you. All right. Cap booster there. You're fine. Cap booster here. Uh, overheat everything. All right. This guy I'm a little worried about. Okay, I think he's fine now. I'm not sure why he's fine. What's happening here? Who is this guy shooting? Because he's not hitting that guy. not like my guy is particularly far well whatever you know what he might not have been hitting but we got him we're gonna kill these echoes and furies first you can get that elite dramiel stop overheat stop overheat you already did bit of a speed cloud towards that biocache towards a biocache is not a bad spot for a speed cloud guys i mean it's takes me away from a lot of these guys which I'm not happy about, but 
it's it's okay. Like you're you're not going to die flying towards a biocache. Uh, and the nice thing is this puts me next to the gate. Even if I lose a bit of targets and a little bit of DPS, it's okay. It gets me over here. There you go. You've gotten to see two angel rooms with this so far. Uh, Elite is dead, oddly enough, before most of these guys. Attribute that to the speed clouds. Sword spine, you're gonna kill that cash for us. I did overheat my hardeners more on these two than I wanted to. But they don't need to overheat as early, so that's okay. 137 million. to check your cat booster supply. Ooh, uh, five. Okay, so you should have a lot. Drop four. Approach that. So even though this room is damaging and a pain in the ass that way, uh, I promise you that if you're ever short on time, you're usually pretty happy to see it because it's done in five minutes, which means you're making up two minutes, which if you need more than two minutes, you are, you, you should not be in tier sixes very often, unless it's like an anomaly that caused you to take that long. Like you didn't notice the deep watchers were next to a short range deviant and you should have noticed that. Oh, speaking of short range deviants. Okay, here's a medium. Yeah, let's go that way. We have to kill these snare casters first. Then I'm going to be a terrible person. I'm going to let that tower kill that uh, one field weaver that's there. And you're going to go for these three. You're going to go for these three. You're going to go for these three. And I forgot to reload, and that's on me, but that's not a huge deal. I very much prefer to reload going through the gate. You can do it. It doesn't take any extra time because it reloads as you go through. This was definitely a mistake, and I am sad about that, but that's okay. Same as these guys are too far away, but they're really not. They're fine. They just flew to the gate first, so. They're down there, which is where I'm going to go. That guy's reloaded. Then you, then you. I mean, I try. I'm unfortunately not anywhere near as terrible as I should be, so. And we'll just watch this field weaver die a slow death because it can't rep itself. I mean, there was that time that uh, a guy died in a Triglavian system, and I noticed that his stuff was pa uh, plastic wrapped, and I contracted it back to him. I didn't realize that I, that probably could have been a, like considered a scam. I did, I did not consider it. I legit contracted back what I think he needed to complete his contract, but somebody else could have just made some random plastic wrap thing and put it, sent it back, and it was fake didn't think of it. Uh, however, I, I definitely did it for more than the value of what was in there, just in case the collateral was that high. Woo! PvP. You're probably not PvPing now. So, the thing that's hard to duplicate in EVE that is also what a lot of people like about it is that when you die in EVE, you lose things. You don't lose all of your things. You don't have to make another account to 
secretly hold on to your things or anything like that. But you do obviously you, you lose your ship and your pod that you have. Uh, and some other games, like I guess Albion could be argued that Albion does better than Eve, I think. Uh, I'm not sure how many people play Albion on a daily basis. Uh, Arroyo, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. But uh, it's, it's something that's hard to duplicate in things. Uh, and is, is definitely, definitely challenging. However, they're also my favorite kind of games. Because when you lose something, there is a sense of some loss. Even if these ships, like... It, it's a loss for me, and I have like ten extra sets of them. You know, it, it's it is still a loss. Ninety Fahrenheit isn't too, so. I'm a terrible person still. God, I'm just always terrible. Anyway, uh, I have I have an AC on at night because I'm not dealing with that. And I also generally have an AC on during the day because I'm also still not dealing with that. Now, 59 Fahrenheit, that I can deal with. That's just cozy into a blanket weather. Okay, last one. It could potentially get a shot off on this guy. Did not. Reload. 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 Enter. 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 This is tier 6. Uh, devoted rooms easy. Smiths, torch bear, a couple heralds. So, lookouts will screw with your range. So, lookouts screw with your targeting range. Uh, heralds screw with your uh, distance of shooting range. This character did not go through yet. PPU, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I lost my character. There he is. Uh, this is tier six triple boxing, so three hawks. I mean, the triple boxing part gave that away, but still. Uh, this is generally a thing you need maximum skill points for uh, in assault frigates, hawks, missiles, shields, navigation, etc, etc, etc. And it is challenging to fly. But that's also why I like it so much. That is for my end of the night draw. Hashtag horde to get into the draw. Smith, Torchbearer, and Trapper. Okay, grab that guy. You're good there. <laughs> I like Chaos, but I also like making fun of Chaos. 148 million and a Veli's Heavy. That was another pretty decent run. Uh, let's finish these guys off, and then we will move into the Devoted Knights. Which are about close enough to get a little bit of newts off. This is why we're not stopping in the gate and why we're going to keep moving a little bit. Okay, these guys are going to start on the Knights. Okay. Shoot, that guy. I'm definitely way too close to those guys, but you're also tanking them, so it's okay. That's there. They're over there. Let's go this way. Two, two, and two. Absolutely. I think I still have it there. 
Nope, that might be that one. One moment, please. So, I will share my tier five fit with you. You have to do the job. If you can run tier five, you can figure out what you need to upgrade for tier six, okay? And that's why that works that way. And also, you might just need different stuff from me to be able to make it work. Okay, so about 14 minutes for that run. And that's the end of that hour, so let's go station, dock up. Reload, reload, reload. And that one worked out to approximately 404 million in about 14 minutes. So that hour was definitely a lot better. The last one was 1.23 billion. Let's see what this one worked out to. Stack that, 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 copy. Over to Eve Tycoon, enter, copy, paste, precursor, valleys, valleys, submit, 1.65 billion that hour. So yeah, it's averaging in around 1.4. That's not counting blueprint prices, at least it shouldn't be including them. No, it does not look like they're having any of the blueprint ones, so that's perfect right there. Uh, and yeah. That's just buckets of isk. Uh, let's send you over here. Accept. Accept. Drag this here. Stack that. Copy. And here's my Eve Tycoon appraisal for the two hours so far. So I've gone through two sets of pills. I did go over a few minutes. Uh, so say two hours and 15 minutes. Uh, for about 2.8 billion worth of risk. Now, again, that's not taking into account the cost of filaments. I am fully aware of that. However, even with the cost of filaments, that's definitely not bad. Scourge, let's grab 2,000 of that. Uh, 400s, we'll grab a couple of those. Oh, I have to do an hourly. I have to start that sooner than later. So that's there. Let's go create giveaway. Hashtag hourly. Create. Announce. Please enter that giveaway. Or don't. I mean, if you don't need my ESC, you don't need my ESC, right? To be fair, I, I enter a lot of other people's giveaways, so you should definitely enter that one. Uh, Scourge, 2,000 of that. Stack that. 400s those make sure I did that I did not repair good repair good okay you're good on that stuff you need more repair rather repair three times than not at all uh, scourge you're going to need about two thousand and what else Kata, you're going to need a few cat darks. Stack that, you should be good there. Alright, not going to do that this time. So we're going to finish up in, let's say, two more runs. That should bring us fairly close to about 10 o'clock my time, which should be about when I go to bed. Give me a little bit of downtime, but we'll be good. And let's fleet warp here. Everybody's out. Put those on. Over to this dude. Let's pop our boosters, which are the last ones in there. So normally I would put a little more boosters in here. I like to have three. 
Uh, I don't like to have zero because if I try to go for four runs in an hour, then having none means I could get screwed in that last room. Uh, however, I don't plan on doing four runs, so we should be okay. Uh, so did that, did that. What else? Oh, just the hourly, I guess. So let's go draw the hourly right quick. We're going to close that, announce this close, draw the winner, announce the winner. Dumb no me, congratulations on winning 100 million esque. Just your in game name in there. Yes, it is. Copy that over to this character, over to this thing. Fleet, paste. Auto link character. Give you 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There you go. That is sent off. Again, congratulations. Activate for fleet. And now we can go in here. I can archive that thing. Everything is good. You, sir, are most welcome. Or ma'am, whichever. Sir slash ma'am. All right, what do we got here? Uh, an endobenthic. This is actually one of my least favorite dudes. What's this? That is one of my most favorite things to see in an endobenthic room. And there's two of them. This is definitely my favorite endobenthic room. All right, we're going to shoot. This is a bad idea. I'm going to do it anyway. Everyone's shooting the endobenthic from the start. Where is the second one? Oh, it's right beside me? Yes. The answer is yes. Oh no, it's not right beside me. Damn it. That's alright. May have made a mistake. We'll find out real quick. This guy's switching targets. Oh, the end, I'm, I'm going faster than the endobenthic already. No, we're good. Ah, just a little bit, but that's okay. Not for very long. So here's the thing. How many shots does it take to kill a frigate? Let's say it takes two shots. I killed one already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's 26 shots to kill the frigates, right? Or I cannot shoot the frigates at all and they still die. Now, one problem is, is. Let's range on these. 47. Gaze and fog. You still hitting? Yeah, will be. And all the frigates are dead. Now, he might have lost a couple missiles from the dampener. I think the endobenthic got out of range. But uh, that was a lot of missiles that I did not have to spend shooting frigates. And it did not, there's no short range deviance, so it did not impact my missiles at all. So that's my tier 5 fit, okay? If you want to do tier 6, you're going to have to adjust it. That's my rule. I will provide you the tier 5. However, if you can't figure out what you need to go from 5 to 6, that's on you. Those are generally minor tweaks involving more damage or more tank. Uh, and also, just so you're aware, the angel room is absolutely brutal. I've survived two so far tonight. 
Uh, however, they will be your biggest challenge in learning these abysses. Really want to go that way, but I can't. couple left, you've got a couple left. Shoot. And there we go. Reload, reload, reload. Okay, good, you're closer than I thought you were. I looked at this guy and I'm like, Jesus, is he like 20 kilometers out? It's like, nope, you're like 1500, you're fine. So endobenthic took us five minutes. Endobenthic is normally closer to seven. Uh, okay, so these are the two I care about. I'm going to pretend I care about this guy just because it's kind of important that I care. Uh, that looks like a tracking tower, blue clouds. Let's go this way. And sentinel, sentinel, sentinel. All of these, because I can see what they are and chaos goddamn can't, are... Uh, scrams. So there's no newts, there's no webs, I am unconcerned about those. I'm going to target these so that I can kill these guys next. But Chaos would have no clue what he's doing because he refuses to fix his overview and I hate him. I'm not sure he believes me when I say I'm going to gank him, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to gank him. And he was warned, so it's his own damn fault, and he knows it. Echo, stop. Okay, we don't want anything to do with that guy. We've already got three of those shot at. Okay, so this guy gets a watchman. You can get these. You can get these. So, what that is, is give me one moment. Let me just make sure I'm flying in a safe direction. Sorry if I run into range of those guys. I'm not super worried about it. Uh, it should be under general. No. Combat. There we go. Tag item is one, two, three, A, B, C, D, all that. And yeah. So all I do is one, two, three, four, five, six, and that tags them. So for example, one, two, three, four, five, and that goes one, two, three, A, B. It's super useful for the abyss multi-boxing because you want to know what you're going to shoot when. Uh, tomato, thank you. You have yourself a wonderful night. It's super handy. I use it all the time. It's extremely important for any of the Triglavian rooms in multiboxing uh, because the Triglavian rooms, if you shoot them separately, they remote rep through all the damage. You're, you're not going to kill uh, three Damovics in a Damovic room by shooting them separately. It's just not going to be a thing. Now these guys I didn't really need to tag, but it's still good to see which one, nope. Damn it. It's still, oh, we're, we're good, we're good. It's still good to see which one you want to shoot uh, so that you can, you know, do damage appropriately. 
For example, these guys don't remote rep in any significant way, so it's okay to shoot them separately. If you do, you're not clipping damage on missiles as much. For example, if all three shoot a missile at the same time, 133 million, then you're going to do a little less damage because the two of those missiles are not going to hit. I could get paper and crayons, but I'm not going to. Obviously, like, bigger ranges make a difference, but still. Okay, you approach there, reload, 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 approach, approach, and in we go. Okay, lots of fire watchers, a few dissipators. Uh, we can stay out of the blue clouds, so we're going to. Fire watchers are going to fly to us and die. Let's get those guys first. You can get the dissipators. Uh, so I'm not going to bother flying directly away. I'm just going to keep transversal. Uh, the wardens are the only webs. They might be worth killing a little earlier, but I'm not super concerned about it. Just might have to use a couple cat boosters in this room. I've got a nice storage of them outside this room, so it's not a huge concern for me. This guy definitely wasn't firing for like two missile cycles. You okay? Oh yeah. Just my, I put my tablet on top of the container and it slid. Ah. Uh -huh. It was on the couch, it was safe. <laughs> shoot that one. It's the last one, so you can shoot a warden. Nobody's new to that. I haven't even had to use cat boosters. There's still a couple nudes left. You're going to help with that other dissipator if he's still alive. Not being shot at. You can approach that now. No short range deviant to interfere with missiles. It's always a good thing to keep an eye out for. Hey, how's it going, crew? Okay, so these guys are popping back a little bit. I'm going to pop back and grab them. Mr. Antisocial, thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Shoot that guy. Shoot that guy. Uh, sweetie, can you either grab a headset or turn the volume down a bit? What's that? I thought I heard some beeps. The only thing that is that, uh, like, depending on what game you're playing, some things can be, have like a streamer mode kind of thing. Okay. Let me just see. Oh, what is that? Sorry. No, that's okay. I really didn't hear it. <laughs> I just heard a couple beeps, nothing that should be any okay. issue. That guy. Oh, the new ant the game you got me, Luke? Yeah. Um, Alien and Isolated is compatible with um, Nice. Steam Deck. So you can play in a dark room and be scared. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I got Bell uh, Alien Isolation. I, I played a little bit of it, and she has not played any of it at all yet. And she she doesn't do great with scary games, but it's more sci-fi scary, so it might be okay. It should be okay. I played Prey, no problem. Prey wasn't so scary, though. No. I guess so. Prey was like 
there's big enemies that are going to stomp your face scary, but... Okay, reload there. We got a couple seconds. Let me take a peek. Everything looks good there. What's that game where there's like a murderer and you die from them? Uh, Dead by Daylight. Yeah, that one's too scary for me. <laughs> so I was on a work trip one time and we had a computer lab and it was generally like a uh, kept darker, not for any particular reason. You could turn the light on, it wasn't an issue. But generally, it, it was like a fairly dark computer lab. Uh, a 395 and under 15 million, definitely not bad. And the uh, guy had a, a one of the, well, what was the game called? Oh, not Amnesia. Give me one second here. Okay, let's, let's just list a couple of the scary single-player games. I'll, I'll figure it out real quick. It's one of the popular ones. No, not Silent Hill. That's a little dear. Oh, rude. <laughs> well, it is. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to think of it. My own. Anyway, scary game. Single-player. And he's playing through it. And he gets to a part. He screams, jumps up. Puts the game down and is like, nope. And so that's fine. He takes a break. He turns the light on. Uh, he, 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 you know, goes for a, sh a quick short walk. Comes back. And he, th he leaves the light on and starts playing again. And f not even five minutes later, screams, gets up, sets the game down, and leaves the computer lab. And doesn't come back and play this game ever. I'm like, yep, that sounds about right for that game. It's one of those, it's the stealth hidey one where you're a reporter. And you have, like, the, the camera that you can use to see where things are. And you, all you're doing is avoiding things the whole time. Oh yeah, I'm never going to guess what that is. It's not amnesia. It... Like, I know it, and I have it, but... Just can't think of the name of it offhand. Uh, mm, Madison, nope, that's definitely not it. Uh, hashtag Horde, if you have not already, that's my last round of the night, which we're going to be doing after this year run. Oh, shoot. Luke, are you letting the dog in, or am I? One of us is. If you don't mind doing it, please do. If you do mind doing it, please don't. <laughs> Can I just pause my game or should I put this in the You can pause. The Steam Deck games, I think, uh, have a pretty good uh, uh, battery life for them. Okay, so it's not Evil Within. I have to play that game, actually. Not Fear. Fear's more of a shooter. What the hell is it called? Uh, library. Okay, this is a pretty... This is a quick room. Uh, this is gonna drive me nuts. Okay, tell me Store. Back. <laughs> Categories. Gotta have horror here somewhere. Horror. It's going to be at the top of them. There's at least two of these. Not Remnant, not Phantasmophobia. Outlast, there we go. Outlast 1, Outlast 2. Oh, Outlast? No, I was never going to guess that. You are not allowed to play the Outlast games. <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> Self-ban. <laughs> so, I ban Belle from games. However, it's not out of malice. It's out of her safety. <laughs> I ban her from games because she does not want to play them. I promise you. I'm a big old chicken. She's a big old chicken, okay. and she cannot play these games. And she knows it. That's why I get to do it. <laughs> uh, 94 million there.
Uh, Prey and Vampire are really fun games. You can play them that are a bit darker. Oh, I have watched you play Vampire though. And oh yeah. That one does look really good. I played it on in a way on hard mode because draining people for XP is a thing that you're kind of supposed to do, and I definitely did not do it. If something's scary but has a good story, I can handle it. Yeah. Like, I found Life is Strange was kind of scary, but I could handle it. Like the story was kind of messed up. Yeah. Is that the weird family one? Weird family? No. Well, I don't know about the second one because I haven't played it, but the first one, it's this girl who is at school and she's trying to figure out what happened to her friend that died. Oh, okay. And, like, her choices um, affect later in the game. I'm being very vague because there's a lot to it. <laughs> 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 All right. Alright, all my guys are shooting this damn Vic and he's not dying fast enough. There we go. So one of the reasons I go around this tower is these guys continuously take damage while I'm here. And what you'll see happen is, see how the Spark Needle Tesla has a little bit of armor gone and it keeps popping up. That's because he and the other Teslas uh, get the remote reps from these guys. And what that does is that means that this Vedmac gets less of the remote reps. So when you end up in a fairly heavy Damovic room, you have a couple options. If there's Teslas and a tower like this, you can kind of go hang out around the tower and you can kill them that way. It'll speed it up a little bit, not a lot, but probably like 30 to 60 seconds, which sometimes is what you need. We don't really need that this time because the first room was a frigate room, so we've got tons of time. Still doesn't hurt them. Uh, the other thing you can do is blue clouds really help to kill Damvix. I don't see any blue clouds in here anywhere where normally the place is covered with them and these stupid speed clouds. So that's not going to be helpful in this case, but it is something to be aware of that if you need uh, to kill Damvix quicker, blue clouds will help you with that. They take their signature radius from something like whatever this thing currently is, uh, 30 or so, and pop it up to a very significant amount in around the range of 105. So from 35 to like 105. Currently 41. But yeah, Outlast 1 and Outlast 2 were definitely, definitely good horror games for that guy. He should never play them again. So the more Damavix you kill, the less remote reps they get, and the quicker they start dying. Again, we are draining some of them by them repping these five frigates here. And you'll, you'll see as they go that there's going to be less and less reps. Uh, hey, Shotzi, how you doing? But uh, it, it definitely helps to be here. Why is that so f Oh, that's because they're spread apart a little bit. Caught me on my last run, however. That's all right. Hashtag whore, get in on my last draw of the night. Could be going for that biocache in the near future. Uh, I am triple boxing Hawks in tier 6, yes. Cataclysmic Darks. Damn it, I still didn't upgrade my PI. I need to do that. Okay, we're gonna go for this ghosting. They're gonna kill the striking just because it's easy to target. I'm gonna mark these guys. Cataclysmic. Why, thank you, Jones. I've been a slacker on that a little bit lately, mostly because I'm just a, a filthy casual anyway. Uh, that I haven't been linking in there like I should be, but that's alright. I've only got a little bit of time left tonight, though. 
Uh, I do. Uh, one through six, we'll label them one, two, three, A, B, C. It's extremely e efficient. Absolutely. I like that Contempo guy who is such a good streamer. You should definitely go watch him. I do all the time. All right. Reloading, reloading, not reloading yet. So if we watch these guys, there's still five of them left. However, now the remote reps are not catching them up. They are catching them up, just not enough. So, oh, you're shooting the wrong one. That's okay. Uh, so you'll see these guys catch remote reps. These guys will catch less simply because those guys are getting most of it. And the more of these guys die, the less reps the other guys get. And that's how you can use a medium deviant to help thin out the room just a little bit. Keep in mind that you still want to go towards this uh, before the very end of the site because you don't want to spend 30, 60 seconds flying and not applying DPS because that's still a little bit of a waste. <laughs> All right, so as a nerdy, no. Shout out a nerdy Neanderthal. There we go. That should work. Uh, he is a, another streamer. He is a bit new yet. Uh, he does some very interesting things. And currently I supply him with abyssal materials and he supplies me with abyssal ships. I could build it all, but I, I kind of have this thing where, no, not Jettison, uh, where I, I realized exactly what my time in the abyss, abyss is worth and it's entirely too much. Uh, meaning, by the way, how much time do I have? Almost nine minutes, it's quite a bit of time. Uh, meaning, if I take an hour and I don't make a hundred million isk, I'm probably doing it wrong and I should be in the abyss instead. Uh, a little bit of min-maxing, essentially. Oh my god, look at this stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll be it. One, two, three, four. One, one, and one. Let's grab that and that. So you get to see each of these. So, this is kind of a bad situation to be in, in a way. So, however, there's enough, uh, th there's not enough newts that I'm gonna run out of cap, so it should not be an issue. You do wanna be careful with harrowing Vedmax in blue clouds next to tracking towers, okay? That's not a thing that you want to, to play around with too much. This is my last run of the night. So I'm kind of okay with it. I definitely have to hit this now. And once we get one of those dead, we're fine. I've got eight seconds of life. Uh, we should be fine. Uh, you know what? I can just do that right quick, too. And that should take care of most of my troubles. Do you have to watch this guy's shield here? They swapped is what happened. So these can go off. There we go. One dead. And we might be like, Loki, why did you go for the blue cloud? Well, you know what? That blue cloud is not so hot at this second. But once this harrowing Vedmax is done, that thing is going to be gold. We can kill these guys first. Damvix don't really deal much damage after that. And once that harrowing is dead, we are set. Blue clouds are usually your enemy, but they're not always your enemy. Alright. Now the fun begins. So, let's go ghosting, tangling. K 
Okay, I'm going to show you a couple things, all right? And ghosting, tangling. Okay. So, we won't do it for this one, we'll do it for the next one. We'll just keep an eye on how long it takes each of these guys to die. So, shoot, shoot, shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Say about six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, so same thing. This is about two volleys. So it's the first volley, five seconds later, second volley, time to hit. Okay? Now, all of these have essentially the same amount of EHP. Uh, as far as I know, I don't think like any one is particularly stronger than another. So about two volleys to kill them in a blue cloud. Keeping in mind that is in a blue cloud, okay? We're still pretty far away from the biocache, so I'm definitely going to want to move before all of them are dead. Uh, because uh, Shoot, you're shooting three. That's okay. So for these last three, we are going to start moving right now towards the biocache. Then we're going to reload, and then we're going to see how long it takes to kill those outside of this blue cloud. Hopefully not in that speed cloud, because that'll kind of suck. This tower does not help us. That is turret tracking, and we do not have turrets. Okay, so first one is still going to be in this blue cloud. Second one is now out of the blue cloud. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So three volleys instead of two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, yeah, three volleys instead of two. However, that's almost twice the time because that first volley shoots immediately, that second volley, five seconds, that third volley, five more seconds. Now, that's shooting time, obviously, and in, in between a bit is a bit of a different story, but still. It still increases it. 50%. 50 to 100%. Per, no, I'd say 50%. Okay, nobody is waiting to kill me on the outside. That's always nice. We're going to go dock up. And we're going to do the last draw of the evening. Which is for a fairly significant amount of ask if one of you guys finally wins a goddamn thing. So, dock up. Dock up. Did I do that? I think I grabbed it. That looks like I grabbed it. All right, cool. Uh, 411 million in a little over 15 minutes. I think that's closer to 17. And you got what? Not that, not that, not that. So 800 more million in two more runs, about half an hour. So two and a half hour ballpark 3.7 billion. Definitely not bad. And we're going to do the four draw. So, the way this works is I have my little thing that I did up there, and we do a dragon sword draw. That is, how many cards do I got left in here? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18 cards left. The winner of this gets to pick a number between 1 and 18 and win a corresponding prize as per what I had shown you with the exclamation mark dragon. This is the card they're after. Every card is worth a prize. Let's go over to Mubot. Manage that. Bring that up. 46 people entered. We're going to close that. Announce that it's closed. And the winner of the Dragon Horde tonight is... Lunacor, congratulations. Lunacor, are you here? You are not required to be here. However, it's helpful if you are. Let's do this. See if I have a name to send things to. It is Lunacor. Excellent. Uh, let me go at Luna. Oh, it shows you still on the channel. Perfect. Luna, if you are here, please announce that you are here. It is not a requirement. You will win regardless. I can always random a number. Random number generator. But if you are here, that just makes it easier. Generate, 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 generate. All right, what we're going to do is we're gonna take this. We're gonna see if Lunacore shows up. We're gonna throw that in the middle though. Uh, it's just better if Lunacore picks Lunacore's own number. Uh, actually, I don't need a number generator. I have you guys. You guys are my random number generators. All right. We'll give Lunacore another minute, but if not, I'll get chat to pick a number, and the first one that I see show up will be the number between 1 and 18 that Lunacore gets. And the way this works is, is if the grand prize is not picked, then we take one more card out, and we have 17 cards for the next time. Wow, two sevens. I was going to ignore Rimmers, but there were literally two of them. So we'll go with number seven. Unless Lunacore shows up last minute. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's stop that. So Lunacore's number is seven. One, two, three. It was three. So not that for Lunacore. Four, five, six, and seven. Seven is a rare. Which is 1 billion-esque. Lunacore is not going to be upset about that. However, it is not the 5 billion-esque grand prize. Let's go over to you. Do I still have that much on me? I do. Look at that. Good job, me. Fleet. Paste. Autolink. Character. Give. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Send. Let's go over to Twitch. So the good news is you won the Dragon's Horde. Bad news is you weren't there to pick your card number. The good news is chat did. The bad news is you didn't get the grand prize. Good news is oh God, you did so win bad. one billion isk, and it's sent. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's drag this over to this character here, and accept, accept. That is now being held by this character who has stack an estimated. Th oh, actually, copy. Oh, shoot, that's not all of it. Fleet hanger, that, that, and that. Drag that here. Here is my net loot for tonight. Ten runs. So minus about a billion isk for filaments. Reset that, paste that. So not counting uh, boosters, about 2.6 billion isk net profit. Which the boosters aren't a huge part of it, so it's really not that bad. Let me throw this back in here. Being able to pay for your for 500 plex in two and a half hours at profit is quite good. So I'm happy with it, needless to say. All right, you guys. So actually, yeah. So 2.6 billion in two and a half hours. That's over a billion per hour profit. 
Uh, you guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining me. I super appreciate it. Let me go see who is currently online. I know that uh, Nerdy Neanderthal was also going offline, so I can't use him for that. Mute me. Mute. Pause? Pause. All right, who we got? We got, nope. Corrupted. Gory. Emma's playing Apex. Nerdy's leaving soon. I'm not going over to Dale, but I could send you over to my, oh, Rampage is on. Uh, raid. So we got Rampage. Do we have anything else? Let me go take a peek. Uh, there's that one. English, Space Cops, one whole PD. It's a lot of stuff on there. Uh, that one's Russian. That one's logging off. Rampage it is. There we go. You guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I'll be back Thursday. This video will be uploaded to YouTube later, so if you want to pick through it and make fun of anything I do, by all means, go right ahead. Uh, flying Rich is always fun. You're not wrong. Uh, credit card will definitely get you more money than, more ISK than uh, what I do, but that's beside the point. Uh, fly fun. It's okay to lose ships, as long as you're having fun playing the game. Do what you enjoy. Uh, ISK per hour can be fun. But I mostly just enjoy the challenge with this is something that probably wasn't meant to be run by a single person, but you know what? I can still do it. Uh, you guys have a great night. I'll talk to you later. I'll be back uh, Thursday. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask in my Discord. That's what it's there for. Uh, or respond to me on my YouTube videos. I thoroughly enjoy that all the time. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll talk to you later.